is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the 3rd October 2018 build of AOS IP ROM based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So let me just show you the settings and system about phone. Here as you can see this is based on Android 9 Pie. So as you can see the AOS IP build is 3rd October 2018 and the security patch somehow is 5th October 2018 already. So pretty good thing and the stock kernel over here is the dark kernel. Here is the build number if you are into that. So let me hit OK and go back inside advanced. We have the advanced setting over here where you can find the camera to API enabler toggle and in this ROM note that there is no stock camera app in like by default so you have to install a camera app so i installed the all auto mgc mod and it's been working fine after enabling camera to api so you don't need to worry about camera to api it's working super fine so as you can see rom is pretty smooth but the stock launchers over here are not that great we have the basic pixel launcher and we have this launcher let me just show you as you can see we have the quick step launcher which is not that great i don't like it very much because there is no like the google home stuff like google now cards and stuff as you can see pretty basic it does not even have the google now cards to the left and even the pixel launcher which is present by default does not have that so you can't even install the pixel launcher mod because the official pixel launcher is installed by default but one thing that i am really disappointed about that this is an official rom still the google pay simply does not work here i tried setting it up let me just show you as you can see it just says google pay can't be used on this device so which is really disappointing for me because earlier i have been using the liquid remix rom let me know in the comments below if you want a video on that and on that ROM, Google Pay and stuff was working super fine. We even had more customizations than the AOS IP ROM, which is surprising. So in terms of customizations, let me just show you. Here is the quick toggles. You can add more stuff from here. So as you just saw, you can add multiple quick toggles by just one tapping them and nightlight is working super fine. Let me go into settings inside this owl's nest. We have all the customizations, but let me show you the display settings first. And as you can see, we do have tap to wake functionality here. We do have device theme. You can change the sleep timer and stuff. Nightlight and auto brightness sensor is there. Auto brightness settings, I mean. Inside Owl's Nest, you will find all the customizations which are not a lot if you compare with other ROMs like the Liquid Remix because over here you do not get the brightness slider on the status bar or from the status bar. It simply doesn't work but we do have a little bit of customizations here as of now and it might be added in the future. Here as you can see we have the status bar clock customizations battery customizations as you can see battery percentage and battery style option and here we have the status bar icons like headset and stuff let's go back inside quick settings you will get the quick toggles animation and stuff and what else brightness slider bottom brightness slider inside notifications you can enable heads up if you like heads up i don't like it so i disabled it so we have two step icons and stuff let me go navigation you can edit the nav bar if you want to and inside hardware buttons we do have the advanced reboot option and you can change the crt animation or fade animation of the screen off let me just show you the advanced reboot option as you can see from here you can directly reboot into recovery or fast boot Here we have some playback control and stuff and as you can see you can just double tap on the status bar to make the phone to sleep and the fingerprint scanner speed is fine too as you can see. As you can see it's super fast. And inside recent 
get this clear all button stuff which doesn't simply work lock screen we have the lock screen charging info quick unlock is there but i don't see the face auto unlock option over here inside gestures you get the asp gesture option where you get the swipe up and stuff like this and it works just super fine and double tap to sleep on the lock screen and series bar both are working fine inside advanced it's just blank so more features over here might be added in the future updates so they are not present as of now so these are all the customizations we have and you can switch between apps like this and the rom is super smooth vaulty is working super fine and i showed you the camera and it's working fine as you can see so you can flash it if you want to let me just open a few apps and show you the app open up speeds as you can see app open up speeds are pretty fine in my opinion you won't find any huge issues or huge stutters as you can see ram management is fine too and as you can see no huge stutters or frame drops at all rom works super smooth and let me open pubg and show you one thing that in the lobby it glitches somehow i don't know but while playing the actual game it, there is no issues and the volume panel comes from the sides as you can see so do you notice this somehow it glitches as you can see it glitches in the background somehow but while playing the game it did not glitch or there are no issues at all so if you want to just play the game you can definitely do that but if you like browse in the menu and stuff it will do some glitches like this so that is that pubg performance is fine enough i did play pubg and it was fine so you don't have to worry about gaming like there is no huge issue which will hamper your gameplay experience so we just crossed 9000 subscribers guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel and if you have not subscribed yet give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right now and hit the bell icon for many more awesome contents like this this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye now